how to create a digital journal using Canva. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a digital journal using Canva and you can also do this on PowerPoint. I prefer using Canva because it provides you with a lot more artistic liberty, but we're just going to get started and this is the Canva homepage and over here you can see on the right you have this custom size and you're going to click on that and you're going to convert it into inches. Once you've done that, you're going to pick any size that you like. You can look up for the best sellers and you can replicate their sizes. And I'm going to go with 8.5 into 11. It's one of the most commonly used, used sizes. And now you're going to have a blank canvas. So we're going to start designing our journal. Now, first off, I'm going to go into elements on the left over here. You can see, and I'm going to search for wooden background or just wood background and i'm gonna pick one that i like so i think this looks pretty decent and now i'm gonna expand this background onto my entire page like so and now i'm gonna go into elements once more and i'm gonna search for page and i'm gonna go in graphics so i'm gonna pick a page that i like i think this one looks pretty good and I'm going to lighten the colors on this page. So these are a bit too dark for my personal liking. And I've changed the page colors. So now I'm going to expand it a bit more. So it fills out almost all of our page. But you can see some of the uh, wooden background in the back. And I think this looks pretty decent right now. Now I'm going to go into elements again. And I'm going to search for rings showing me wedding rings I'm, I'm gonna search for spiral rings and i'm gonna go in graphics this might be a bit difficult to find a perfectly aligned spiral ring so you can always use a circular or semicircular shape and place it over the page edge like this shape so i'm gonna copy this shape now what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna rotate this shape like so and you can place it like that and it can form your semicircle or your, your book spiral or you can just leave the page as is that just depends on you and the design that you're going for i'm going to look for similar pages that don't have like a binding ring so or maybe i'm going to search for some more binding rings this can be a bit time consuming, but once you're done with this stage, there's literally just five more minutes in your journal will be done. So finding the perfect design is most of your work. After that, you're going to be free and your book will be ready to publish. Now, yeah, I think I'm going to look for a different kind of page design. Yeah, this looks very nice. It would fit the theme as well and it's a bit ragged so i'm going to expand this paper i'm going to place it in the center and i'm going to change the colors to lighter colors because I don't really like the super super dark look like so so once you've added your basic paper you're going to start adding your journal notes area so a journal needs to have different sections now i'm going to go into text and i'm going to add a heading so it depends on what kind of journal you're making Let's just say I'm going to add a notes category in my journal and I'm going to rotate it to 90 degrees and I'm going to place it over here like so. Then I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to change the text. So after notes, I'm going to have maybe eight events. Now I'm going to place this over here and I'm just going to copy once more and add another category in our journal. So it might be the dates category or you can have a appointments i'm gonna move this to the bottom and i'm gonna place it just outside the paper and once you have done that i'm gonna place this down below and i want to place this over here like this once you have done that you're gonna go back into elements and then on the elements page you're gonna see lines and shapes you're gonna click on see all and now picking any shape that you like I'm going to go with this little shape and I'm going to resize it so like this and I'm going to resize it to fit my text or the edge of my journal. I think this shape is a bit too small to fit in the text even though the text font could be reduced. I don't want to reduce it too much. I'm going to go for another shape. Maybe something that's a bit more squarish that, that would fit 
my text. So something like this, I'm gonna rotate it to 90 degrees and I'm gonna resize it. Yeah, this would look a lot better. Now I'm just gonna make it a bit more thin, like so. Once you have placed your little box, you're gonna change the color to something that you like. So I'm gonna make it pink and red. First, we're gonna have pink and you're just gonna copy this box, paste it down below, move the text and you're gonna change the color for each one of the boxes. This one I'm gonna make green and now I'm just gonna resize the text and make it fit into these boxes. This. So you have your event section, your note section. Now I'm gonna zoom out just to see if my page looks good and I think this looks pretty nice. Now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna duplicate this page to however many pages you want in your journal, like so. And now you're gonna create sections within these pages and this is the most important part of your journal. Once you create these sections, your journal is going to be ready. So you're just going to duplicate them. And we have 25 pages. Now, what you're going to do is, first off, we're going to write, we're going to add some text. And we're going to add some simple text that says notes. And this is going to tell us what section we're on, on the journal. I want to place it right here in the center, like this. And maybe after 10 pages, we're going to have our events section. So we're going to add another heading. We're going to write events and we're going to place it at the center as well, like this. And then after 10 more pages, we're going to have our appointment section. So we're just going to add more text and then we're going to place this at the top. Now, what you're going to do is for the notes section, obviously someone that opens the document is going to be greeted directly with the notes section because it's the first page. But for the events section, you're going to click on events and then this text box basically. And you can either group these two items together as well, the text and the box you placed behind it. You can group, group them together. That's totally up to you. I don't think there's any purpose in grouping them. I think the function is still performed pretty well. If you just click on the text, you're gonna click on these three dots and then you're gonna click on this link. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna link this text to page number 10 and you're gonna, you can just do that and that's it. And then you're gonna click on appointments. You're gonna click on these three dots and you're gonna click on this chain and you're gonna link it to page 20. And you can remove the underline if it shows up. Sometimes it does show up after you link them. And now, if you take a look at this document now, I'm gonna open it in presentation form. So this is our first page. And if I click on events, I go directly to the events page. And if I click on appointments, I go directly to the appointments page. I think the appointments page is page 10 and I added the wrong page. Yeah, I added the wrong page. It was supposed to be, I don't know, I think I for didn't save my, yeah, it's page 20. I'm gonna fix that. On events, you're gonna also link all of these pages to their respective little uh, categories. So this is gonna be page 20 and then like so. so. I'm gonna go back on presentation and show you guys. So we're on the events page and if I click on appointments, now I'm on the appointments page and I've skipped past all of the events pages. And this is how easy it is to create your digital journal using Canva. And I hope you guys found this video helpful and I'll catch you guys in the next video.